Hello, yes, rats, rubbish and useless councillors. That's right, I'm referring to Kensington here in Liverpool. I drive in and around Kensington most nights and the area is deteriorating by the day. There seems to be more and more third worlders each time I drive around Kensington. It really, really is a shocking place and a sad state of affairs. Rubbish has been dumped everywhere, reports of rats, and God knows what bright spot came up with that idea of putting signs in eight or nine different languages on the alley gates telling the third worlders not to be dumping the rubbish there. Has it worked? No. How many thousands of pounds did that cost the taxpayer? Well, exactly. You see, like I've said before, the problems in Kensington can't be fixed. And I'll tell you why. They have dumped every ethnic and cultural group there that don't get on with one another, let alone assimilating with the host community, right? It, that can't happen. Assimilation is not going to happen. Also, why the problems can't be fixed is that the local, uh, the Liverpool City Council and the local councillors, the policies they push can't work. You cannot dump the third world into these areas and believe Everyone's going to live honky-dory. It's going to come apart. They will bring third world ways with them, which they have. So all we have to do is be patient and wait and offer real solutions to the problems, issues and tragedies the forgotten and beleaguered white working class of Kensington are facing now. Also, I've got the latest crime statistics for Kensington. They make shocking reading. I make this video because a new leaflet's going to be going out soon to the forgotten and beleaguered white working class of Kensington, right? I'll be offering real solutions to their problems, their tragedies. And like I've said, the local councillors cannot fix Kensington because the policies they push are destroying Kensington. Remember this, I haven't destroyed Kensington, have I? No, well, exactly, right? But I can offer solutions that can ease their pain and their suffering. Trust me, I can. But a new leaflet's going to be going out and I'm going to be putting more out as I build up to the next May Council elections 2019. Okay, thank you.